Hey YouTube, wanted to update you on how far I've gotten with this conversion. Uh, I've made a little bit of progress since my last video. Um, right now I have my x-axis up and running, although the wiring isn't permanent yet, but uh, mechanically we're tidied up a bit, so let me just show you what I've done. So in my last video I showed you this plate that I had previously um, designed and put onto the mill a couple of years ago and I had forgotten what my plan was for that but near as I can tell um, those bolt holes that were in that plate that are 3 8 bolt holes um, are actually exactly in place for the stepper motors of course they're a lot larger 3 8 is way too large to put through a stepper motor so what I actually did was use 3 8 bolts as standoffs and uh, thread some M5s into the heads, screwed them in, and that works great. This axis is a little bit trickier because the thrust bearing that keeps the lead screw from pulling in or pushing out, uh, the thrust bearings are in this, this portion right here. When I did my x-axis, I chose to mount things on this end because there's no thrust washes on this end. There's just a, a bearing. Um, all the thrust washers are in this end. So I left that end stock. Um, put my motor on that end so the thrust, thrust wasn't an issue with the x-axis. Well this one it was I actually ended up threading the leads lead screw shaft and putting a nut to lock the thrust bearings to be able to tighten up on them take up you know the slack so they're just just snug and then I also threaded this coupler which I wasn't planning to but I ended up threading this coupler and I actually put in a set screw and threaded an M4 down into that keyway so this thing is locked right into the keyway our thrust, our thrust uh, bearings are tight, snug, just you know the way they should be. Um, you know this is the backlash on this axis, which truthfully it's about the same as the stock one. If you look here, oh, I can't. This one's actually locked up with the X. Let me un I'll unplug that motor. So that's the backlash. Actually, it feels like this one has more backlash. <laughs> it's probably because the wheel's bigger. It feels like more than this one. Well, I imagine it's about the same. I haven't done any more up on top, um, other than I've made my drawings. Uh, basically, gonna on this on the z-axis, I'm gonna basically do. Virtually the same thing as I did on the X. I'm going to make a plate that bolts. Apparently I had to drill drill these these holes into my machine. Apparently this is something I did. I don't remember doing that. That was a couple of years ago. But um, on on the Z, there is four holes up there already that hold that cap on. Uh, so I removed the cap and I'll use those four holes to bolt a plate on, and then I'll uh, do the same thing I did with the. I'll do some bolts for standoffs um, tap some M5s into the into the top of them like I did here and run it like that it'll be a good start this y-axis is going to be trickier this is going to be a little bit more more involved because <clears throat> it's not a flat surface you get this bearing um, assembly to contend with Plus, the big thing is uh, your saddle travels out beyond the end of this. So it can't, whatever you use, whatever I use, can't stick up beyond here. And the thing of it is the motor will. The motor will be about here. So the motor does stick up, but the part that mounts against the machine can't. So it's going to have to come out and then have a plate that sticks up to mount the NEMA 23. So that will be a little bit trickier, um, 
but certainly not not too bad. It's certainly doable. Uh, again, I'm just trying to do this simply and cheaply to get myself up and running. All right, that's it for today, or at least for this this video.